Hi, I'm Srivatsa, the Program Manager for Interoperability and Migration for the Office Communicator 14 client. Office Communicator 14 offers exciting new conferencing features, and I'm here to tell you how your users can have the best online meeting experience during beta. To minimize the impact on user productivity during migration, we recommend that you deploy or make available for download a user-installable conferencing client, Communicator 14 at ND. This program allows users who don't have Communicator 14 installed to participate in a Communication Server 2010 online meeting. With that, let's go through the different groups of online meeting users that you would have to identify in your organization prior to deployment. The first set of users are the users migrated to Communication Server 2010. These are the users that you want migrated to the new 14 deployment. Uh, the second set of users are the attendees inside the organization who have not been migrated yet. The third set of users are those that are federated attendees joining outside of your organization. And the last is anonymous users who uh, attend these meetings. Now let's look at deployment best practices for Communicator 14 users. Deploy Communicator 14 to meeting organizers as soon as they have been migrated. The cost of this step is that in order to support conferencing during beta, you cannot do a phased client deployment. The benefits are significant though. Simplified meeting scheduling and joint experience for organizers, access to all online meeting features, and reduced help desk calls for administrators. Next, you need to prevent users from joining a Communication Server 2010 online meeting with earlier client versions. You can do this easily with Communication Server Control Panel as seen in the screenshot. This is an extra step for the administrator, but it's required during beta in order to prevent organizers from joining their own meeting without having full presenter capabilities. In some cases, you might even have meetings that can take place if the organizer tries to join with an earlier client version. As a last step, we recommend that administrators advise the users that have just been migrated to reschedule any existing server-based live meeting web conferences as the new Communication Server 2010 online meeting. Thanks, and that concludes the migration best practices for online meetings.